This is a special presentation of AreaCable.com and the Area Guides Network, produced by CraigShip.com, with special guests from around the globe. I'm Peter McDermott, and now on to our feature presentation. Okay, Bruce, take it away. Welcome to a special edition of Google Plus Hangouts. We have friends with us tonight from around the world as we typically do every evening. Let's start the conversation by talking about the new cellular phones, the smartphones platforms. We have new droids coming out monthly and we have the new iPhone 4S. Does anybody in the room have any of these new platforms that can tell us and share some topics about some of the features that they have. Craig, do you have the new 4S phone? Yeah, I see that in your I've life. got an iPhone 4S here and I and let's see what it, what it'll do. I sometimes the Siri works pretty good. Siri, are you there? Cut to yourself. <sighs> okay. She's saying let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to See if I can give this a command. It says, please excuse the delay. Sometimes, sometimes the servers, you know, this goes up to the server. Could you try it again? Okay, here we go. Where can I hide a body? <clears throat> She's what thinking. What kind of place are you looking for? Swamps, reservoirs, metal foundries, mines, or dumps? Okay, so she's giving me some choices here. I'm going to pick a reservoir. I found 12 reservoirs. 11 of them are a little ways from you. Okay, so I'm going to pick uh, Reservoir Hill. Okay, so what it's done now is it's mapped out. I'll try to hold it up to the camera there. It's mapped out the route to the reservoir. So if I want to get rid of the body, I can dump it there. So she'll answer any kind of question you want. Let me just do one more here. What's the population of New York City? Checking my sources. Okay, here you go. Okay, in this case, she put up a, a graph with 8.175 million people and a bunch of other information on the screen. So she didn't read that to me. So anyway, that's, that's probably the coolest feature of uh, the iPhone 4S is what they call Siri personal assistant. Craig, can you try one experiment for me, please? Sure, sure. I, I, a friend of mine was giving me a demonstration. I think it's just kind of a fun little test that we can share with our viewing audience. Can you say to Siri the following? Siri, I love you. Let's try it. Siri, I love you. Oh, stop. <laughs> No, Siri, I really love you. Okay, I didn't think so. No, no, I really do. I love you. I suppose not. <laughs> what do I need to do to convince you? I didn't find any meetings about convince you. <laughs> so, so you're confused, are you, Siri? Sorry, I don't understand. So you're confused, are you, Siri? <laughs> so, so anyway, she'll come back with some strange uh, answers sometimes, and you can play around with her a little bit. And hopefully she'll get smarter, just like any assistant will train her. Very cool, very interesting technology. So from time to time, we have the opportunity in the Google Plus Hangouts to participate in Hangouts conversations with people from around the world. We have a friend, Robert Reddle, from Austria. Robert, you just had a very interesting hangout, as, as we typically do. Um, can you tell us about one of your more recent hangouts and the experiences? Um, I think it was just last night, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, yesterday I was uh, lucky because I was hanging out, on being on Google Plus on an unusual time for me. It was morning in Vienna and it was around 3 p.m. in India 
and two famous uh, stars from the Bollywood uh, movies were hanging out with their fans and I could jump into the hangout and it, and it was really quite nice. <clears throat> so one of them uh, was speaking with little children and told them not to try the stunts at home because he is always on wires and has stuntmen. And uh, yeah, it was uh, quite interesting. I talked with him about Austria and and skiing and when he will be the next time in Europe. So it was a very interesting experience. And also in the afternoon on that same day I was able to jump into a hangout with Google employees because I find it very outstanding and a rich experience that the real people behind such a big business go out and uh, check with you to a one-to-one -one conversation and get feedback about everything. So, Robert, you know, talking about the um, very cool hanging out with people from Bollywood, by the way, but going back to some of the Google employees, and many of us have had the opportunity to hang out with many of them at different levels over the past number of months since Google Hangouts um, and Google Plus was launched. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the um, conversation that goes on and some of the information that's shared? What, what type of feedback are they looking for, or are we looking for, uh, people in the hangout when we have the opportunity to chat with them. Yes, they are asking for real feedback, anything positive and also negative. What do you like about hangouts the most? What do you not like? What kind of features would you like to see? And during the last weeks I have seen really improvements that came from the community. So you cannot only participate in forums and everything, they just try it out live with you. And for the main feature of Google+, Plus, the Hangouts, which is a kind of new <clears throat> era on the internet and for communication because of its ease of use, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is very exciting for me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Bruce, uh, we're resuming our recording here. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit, I guess, about uh, Google Plus features that we like. So it's very cool that Many of us had the opportunity to hang out with some of the Googlers as they're becoming known. But some of the features, let's, we'll, we'll talk about some of the features. We'll get on the line in the Hangout that we're currently in and talk about some of the features that we like or some of the features that we don't like. Um, personally, I like the original Hangout format a little bit better because I'm a bit of a videographer and like to do some screen captures and so forth. And I don't particularly like the main screen change in size. Um, also, the, the mouse over, as it were, um, where you can click on somebody's name and get their profile picture up, I think, is extremely powerful. On the other hand, with the Hangout with Extras, is also powerful when you want to use it in that way where you can actually pull up and share documentation or a whiteboard feature or screen capture, whatever the case is, is very powerful in a business standpoint or in any type of planning situation where you want to share information in real time. So I think what Google is doing is right on track. They're giving us right now features that will fit into almost everybody's desired niche, as it were, to, to, um, to get your best work done or have the most fun. Um, Craig, let's, let's go over to you. I'm curious to see some of your thoughts and some of the ideas that you have about the features. Sure, sure. Um... Yeah, on the on when you're recording these hangouts, if you're using the the um, hangout with extras, you have to collapse the uh, chat. And if you collapse the chat, then it gets rid of that big black bar at the bottom, and it gives you a, a pretty good screen capture. But of course, you lose the chat. When the benefit to recording like we're doing now is, I'm going to be able in post just crop the main window and all the thumbnails, and it's going to look great. And so we can still keep the chat going. The only downside to that is every time somebody types something, you hear that little that little noise when they hit enter. Um, that's also recorded. Uh, the only thing I'd really like to see is I'd like to see them open this up more. I know some people like to keep it kind of closed and keep the early adopters in here and all, but in order for them to really take on Facebook, which I, I would really love to see them do because I don't like Facebook much, um, I think they have to open it up to more people and let entire families get in and, and things like that. Um, 
but I think they're doing a lot of good things with this and as long as my browser would stop crashing I would be a, a happy camper so I guess we're going to switch to Katie now yes let's Katie can you tell us some of the things that you like or don't like um, within Google Plus or in the Hangouts itself sure except that I totally just forgot what I was going to say <laughs> So you'll have to give me just a minute. I, I do like that uh, Google Plus has a really nice uh, community. Uh, I'm a speech language pathologist and also do photography as a hobby. So it's really nice to be able to have those worlds kind of separate but still in one place. I really enjoy that. Yeah, very um, good. And you have something else, Katie? Hangouts, I really enjoy, uh, well, of course, PO is probably the best feature of the Hangouts. PO and his artwork. Great. We're going to get. We're going to come down to PO in in just a few minutes. Let's go over to Kurt. Kurt, sure. can you tell us some of the likes and dislikes, if any, within Hang uh, Google Plus or within the Hangouts? Yeah, actually, um, I agree with what you guys were saying earlier about uh, well, what Craig was saying about Facebook and Google Plus taking on them is that. Uh, I do actually like Google Plus a lot more, and the community is really strong. But I think something that they're going to need to do if they're going to take on Facebook is that they have to uh, more publicize what they're doing. Because what what I see at school when I talk to people about uh, Google Plus is that they say the reason that they don't want to switch over is because uh, it seems like it's too hard to use and that it's more complicated. But in reality if you compare the new layout of Facebook to Google Plus it's a lot it's a lot simpler just to use Google Plus because you don't have to deal with all the extra sidebar and stuff that's just garbage that gets in the way of the layout and it's really simple on Google Plus um, and also uh, with the Hangouts I do like how it, it works and everything but there's one thing that I would like to see is that they expand it, the uh, capacity of it a little bit more, maybe give a hierarchy so that, for example, if there's someone that the group kind of is annoyed by, maybe just feedback or they don't like the person talking as much as they are, that they would be able to vote or something to mute the person or even just mute the person locally. Kurt, to your point, I have a, I have a question for you. As far as the likes and dislikes or the comparisons you're making between Facebook and Google Plus. Do you think in today's society and the world that we live in and the technology that we have at our disposal that there's, there's room for everything and that each platform has its own niche and the reason for participating with, with each one, not that one is better than the other, but, but they're different and they all have their particular purpose? Yeah, I would say that a lot of them do kind of have their own platform. Uh, especially Google Plus at this point, since it was in beta and there were people who had to get invites, it almost seems like a lot of the people here had some sort of background that either had to do with computers or they knew someone who did, so Google Plus kind of seems like it's more of a uh, technological-oriented website. And Facebook, their niche was kind of that it was more of a revamped MySpace and just allowed people to communicate better with pictures and videos and different things like that. Great, very cool. Mike Downs. Mike Downs is a one of the first generation users of uh, Google Plus. Mike, we're very interested to hear uh, some of the comments that you have with the likes and dislikes that you, that you've learned and experienced over the past number of months. Uh, yeah, thanks, Bruce. Um, I think what I'd like to, to start by saying is the uh, I'm very interested in the co-creation um, of documents and data. So, in other words, uh, Google have designed the Hangout with the chat feature to be off the record, and if anybody wants that chat, they have to copy and paste it out, which I fully accept. What I do like is certainly in the new version of Hangouts that we can co-create on documents and have 10 people working on uh, at the same time and I think also that the shared documents can work inside and outside the browser which I quite like so for an example um, when we had some breaking news yesterday I did call a hangout and got lots of people in to discuss say the Gaddafi situation and I think it would have been brilliant if we were co-creating a document at the very 
much the same time, so we had all the links together. And the thing that I like about that, especially with Hangouts, is that the minds that are working on it are all across the world. So for yesterday, I had people from uh, Venezuela, PO from Italy, uh, people from Europe, uh, people in America, as well as the UK. So that was quite an interesting uh, feature and situation. Thanks, Bruce. You're welcome, Mike. Let's jump over to my friend Robert Reddle. Robert, pluses and minuses of Google+. Plus. You and I have hung out for many months together, and we've experienced a lot of different things online within the within the Hangout features. Tell me, or tell our viewers, some of the things that really come to the front of your mind when, when we're hanging out and the things that you like the most and, and so forth. Yes, it took me some time to pick it up. I was invited to Google Plus uh, mid of July, but I didn't get it. And uh, at the end of August, I tried it again. And what I found out <clears throat> was that there are many different levels of engagement possible. So it brings together the features of Facebook that you can have uh, limited conversations uh, to any size of group that you want, to a thousand, down to one-to-one -to -one conversations. And it also gives you the possibility to just do a, a little plus one to an article that you like, uh, up to a, a comment on a post, reshare a post, or uh, go into a real-life uh, very near to real life conversation here in the Hangouts, uh, up to the most personal thing, maybe a one-to-one -one conversation in a Hangout. Yeah, excellent. I agree with you completely. Shafali, very similar to what we're doing right now in the Hangout. We're having a conversation and actually recording this conversation to to share with people that find what we're talking about interesting. You're doing a very similar thing. Um, taking a hangout every Friday night into a cooking show where you're cooking with flavor and I know the flavor is not in the food by itself it's also in the conversation can you tell us a little bit about how you're using it in in that in that way as well as some of the features that you've learned to like and maybe some not so much well I am actually addicted to hangouts I have to admit it you know and it's really hard to press that X button we were talking about that last night you know you can't get out of it but what I've noticed about Hangouts the most is that it's really interesting the kind of people you meet, you know, and if you give them a chance to, to talk and engage, you'll find that you have something in common with a lot of people. So most of my experiences have been really fantastic and positive. So what we've been doing is we have this show every Friday night called Hanging with Flavor. Where it's based on cooking, but it's also based on hanging out together, just having a conversation. And what we're trying to do more of is promote different uh, talented people. Like, for example, next week we're going to be having our musical guest, Heather Faye, on the show. And she'll be playing a few songs and chatting with us about her experience with Google Plus and so on. And also we'll be having Patty Simone, who is a woman entrepreneur and she's really big in her industry. So we'll be talking to her and, you know, and, and, and it's just about feeling, feeling comfortable, getting to know people, just hanging out, taking it easy you know, on a Friday night just relaxing and enjoying some cooking tips and food, you know, we can't have any, but it, it, it's usually healthy, good, yummy food, so we, uh, we really enjoy that. And I know that with the cooking show, we've actually taken it to a whole new level. We're looking at it almost like a, like a live TV show, as it were, or, or an online show where we actually have a green room prior to the show where we talk about some of the pre-show events. Of course, you go into the show, talk about all those things that you just mentioned, and then after the show, you actually have a, a, a post-production meeting. So you're actually exactly. using a hangout in a, in a very unique way, I think. Yeah, we use it for hours, you know, because beforehand we do a test, uh, you know, for the guest chef and so on to make sure that they understand how it, it works and what our plan is. And then during the show, we know we're raw business, we're having fun, and then after the show, we're relaxing and we're chilling and we're saying, what went right, what didn't go right, you know, so it's, it's a lot of fun and it's really interesting to hear the feedback from everybody. It's great. And when, you, and when you do all that, it just makes the following week's show that much more better. Thanks for sharing that, Chef Holly. Thank you. Hugo, let's jump on over to you. I know you're a little bit of a photographer in your own right and um, use Google Plus a bit to, to share some of your, your work and hang out with your friends, of course. Can you tell everybody a little bit, um, you know, a little bit of an introduction about yourself, where you're from and... Um, your likes and dislikes. Uh, I'm from Italy, and I'm a photographer in my spare time. 
I think that Google Plus is a community for photographers is, is great. It's leapfrogging other sites like Flickr, which have been around for for many years. With it, it's all the all the people are, I think are abandoning Flickr uh, for Google Plus right now. You get so many photographers here who are really willing to share their experience, to share their images, and Hangouts are a special in that you you have the, the option to the opportunity to hang out with a uh, great photographer and they are always open to to share their knowledge to critique your pictures and, um, and so and so it's great you really and the the way you can see that actually Google Plus was designed by photographers and for photographers in the way uh, it's, the, it's the only place where you share a picture and you can see the histogram of the picture that means that it that shows that it was really designed by photographers because only photographers could care about the histogram of an image so yeah definitely it's great it needs to be a bit better in the way you you show pictures you put comments it's not very clear uh, what happens when you put a comment on a picture and you you share it and it creates another post and the comments don't really stick to the original picture to the original image so uh, you need to be careful it's not very intuitive in uh, in places but I think it will uh, definitely get better we are just seeing the, the initial stages of it so it's going to be even better for photographers I think and it's a great yeah, place to showcase your work I agree with you completely I think it's a very exciting platform to share everything you do I mean whether it be photography or video or audio or <clears throat> if you're into the arts and painting or just chilling with your friends and hanging out having conversations sharing business meetings I mean it's it really goes on and on and on it's endless with the possibilities here whatever you can do in the boardroom to the living room it's it's phenomenal or yeah, definitely. Hanging, out, hanging out in the playground with your friends I mean none of us knew each other before we started hanging out we became really personal friends I mean we feel like we can share almost anything with anybody and it's a great relationship let's jump over to my friend Pio over there Pio just um, right there in Italy we've done a lot of things we've shared cappuccino together um, and, and I know you've been busy during the hangout right now can you tell us what you're working on down there yes um Surely, I must say, to, in my opinion, Hangouts are the real plus of this G+. Plus because uh, as we try the other uh, social networking, we can tell the difference. Uh, Sometimes I happen to find myself somewhere else where I cannot use Hangouts, and I feel like uh, it's missing, something is missing. So I see, I see the difference from like Facebook, which uh, I, I want to underline here that uh, like my, ro my friend Robert Reddle, I, I canceled my account because uh, G Plus is, is taking so much time uh, right now of my life that I would not have any other time for Facebook. Say, having said that, is, uh, the real uh, feature here is the Hangouts, is the winner. So um, I believe that Google people should improve that to an extent uh, and listen to feedback uh, mostly on this feature because this is what is really giving the edge to over any other um, social network. Another thing I want to say about Hangout is that uh, uh, what it does, it gives you really the chance to uh, put yourself into a, a, into a window where you can show the world uh, as you decide your world to be, be in photography in my case or uh, art in any other case, technology or uh, video or whatever your field is, to get in contact with people that are in your same field and that is a, a magical thing because up, like uh, Bruce uh, you said before up to a month ago we didn't know each other and now we, 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 we feel like we know each other for years and we haven't never even met so this is the real breakthrough and uh, applying this to the news like we did with Mike yesterday for example in the hangout when as soon as we, knew, we heard the news that uh, 
Gaddafi has been murdered, we scan through the, the all the news media and the news uh, um, inputs that were in, into the web to find out what the truth was of, of this news that just break. So this gives a new perspective on also how the journalism as we know it uh, in the news uh, uh, with the social uh, journalism uh, where everybody can participate to a news as long as he has an iPhone or a camera is is great and uh, so I would put my my if I were Google people I put my attention on the angles much more than what they are doing also uh, uh, another thing uh, is uh, uh, this uh, uh, allows you to share all the, your experience like I said and uh, make uh, new friends every day and uh, it's it's just great to be to be in this uh, in this container. Thank you very much, Pia. You know, very well said. And I, and I know you're a little bit of an artist in your own right and a photographer for for most of your life. And you know, watching you work and sharing some of the work in the past also has been a been a great experience. And you're a great friend. Thank so that's a little bit of what's going on in Google Plus and in the Hangout world. Um, some of the friends that we have, if, if you have hung out or if you have never hung out, if you're a fan of, of Google+, and really not sure what the Hangout feature is, feel free to throw any one of us into your circles. When you see us hanging out, feel free and join. We don't consider ourselves experts by any means, but we're here and we would love to, to share whatever we have learned over the past number of months with you. There's a couple tips and tricks that are continuously changing we're we're learning ourselves every day but we we enjoy sharing that information um, with with everybody basically because it makes us um, just better people in in the way that we can share this technology and, and engage just a little bit more meeting people from different worlds from different cultures from different backgrounds um, a friend of mine says you know you, you have to buy the umbrella before it rains and in other words, what that means is you need to establish your connections before before you need. You never know when somebody that you meet with in a hangout can help you in your life's work or in a situation or just have a good friend that you can sit around and hang out with and, and chat. So it's it's a great way to have an experience on, on Google+, Plus, especially using the hangout features. And I'm sure if you're not using it, you will be using it soon from the playground to the boardroom. Thanks for watching. We hope that you... <laughs> That you enjoyed what the information that we had to share with you tonight, and you know, once again, if you have any questions, feel free to send us any one of us a message. Great job, Bruce. Bruce, let's go down the line here in case anybody has a website they want to plug or anything before we stop the recording. If if anybody, um, uh, Bruce, is there a URL or anything you want to give out? Sure. Hi, I'm Bruce Garber from Boston. You can find me at brucekgarber.com. Or on Google Plus Hangouts almost any time. All right. My website is craigship.com. And uh, Katie? She's I don't have a website. You can just find me on Google Plus. There you go. <laughs> Kurt, anything you want to give out? Um, I guess a YouTube channel. Just go to www.youtube.com slash the Kurt Price, T H. E K U R T P R I C E. Programming tutorials. There you go, Mike. I think I'll just stick with plus Mike Downs. Thank okay. you. Robert. You're muted, I think. Robert, I think you're still. Break. Yeah, contact me anytime. Uh, Robert Redel, Vienna, Austria. You can find me on easytouch.com and here in the Google Plus Hangouts. Thank you. Okay. Shafali? I think you're well, I have two websites. Uh, one is onyourlight.ca and the other one is hangoutchefs.com. Okay. You go? You can find me on Google Plus at plus.ucphoto.me or my blog at blog.ucphoto.me. And Mark? Uh, yes, I do apologize. Uh, you can find me at kyjelly.com. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Pio? Pio is uh, me, uh, you Pio.ching. You'll find me always on Google Plus because I, I go nowhere else but here. 
Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks, everybody. That's a wrap.